Hey guys, it's Friday, so it's time for another fun fact. So let's fire it up. As we come to the end of file management week, I want to use this video to put a bow on the entire week of videos as I try to reinforce the importance of file management. So understand this, when you have a set of audio files and you put them in folder A, then you import these files into your DAW for a mix down. The DAW now knows where the files are. Now, when you save that project, your DAW is going to save the location also. And now it will know where all the files are pertaining to this project. It'll always look into folder A for those files concerning that project. If you add other files to folder A, your DAW will not get confused as to what belongs in the project because it has a very specific list of which files belong in the project and where they go on your arrangement screen. But if you change the name of folder A to say folder 4B, the DAW will no longer be able to find those files because it's looking for the files to be in folder A. That was the last location that it had for these files pertaining to this particular project. Now you can go ahead and point the DAW to the new folder, which is folder 4B, as long as it finds the files that it's looking for, the files from its very specific list, it will be able to load the files into the session with no missing file errors. So this is why I have a very detailed folder tree to make sure that if my DAW forgot where my files were for a particular session, I can say, look in this folder and you should find the files here. So here's what my folder tree usually looks like for a session. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna create a standard folder tree that I would or may use for a song, and then we'll tie it all in with post haste and show you the purpose of that. So a typical setup would be, I would create a folder, give it the title of the song. So we're just gonna call it title for this video. Then in here, the song folder was where I would create a drums folder. Then another folder called other. Then another folder called finals. Next folder would be project files. And the last folder will be mix downs. So the drum folder is pretty self-explanatory. Other would be where I put all my other instruments that are non-drum instruments. In the drum folder, let's go ahead and put a folder called samples. And then in the finals folder, I'm gonna put a folder called MP3. And another folder called waves. In the project files folder, I'm gonna go ahead and put a file in here called template. This is a DAW file. It's a template that I created in Studio One that I'm gonna use when I start recording. So you put it in here and you have to call it template and I'll explain why a little bit later. So we have all our folders created, folders and subfolders. Now, the point of doing this is to keep your files very organized so that when you come back to it later, you know exactly where everything is. And if you have an issue with your software where you did an update and it forgot where the files were, you know exactly where the files are because they're neatly and nicely organized in the project folder. So now creating these folder trees can become tedious every time you wanna set up a new song, a new session. So that's where post haste comes in and automates that process for you. So what you would do is you can set up a folder tree template in post haste. 
So we we'll come here and press this add button to add a new template. Let's call it song. And I'm gonna set it as default. And then you can actually come over here, hit add and start creating folders like what we just did over here. But there's also a quicker way to do it. So let's do it that way. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Remove and make sure song is highlighted and then we're gonna go to add. But instead of choosing folder, we're gonna come all the way to the bottom and select this option that says import folder structure. And then we're gonna browse to the title folder that we just created. So it should be here in our songs folder. And there it is, title. And once I add this, it's gonna create the folder tree that we just created over here. So now that the template is created in post haste, we're gonna go to project files. I'm gonna hit add and import files because I wanna import that template that I put in there. So let's browse to my documents. And we go to song folder, title, project file. And we're gonna import that template, which is very important. So now we're ready to create a song folder. So right here, it's showing you what the folder is gonna be labeled. I don't want all this extra stuff on there, so I'm gonna get rid of it and get rid of this field also. And I want the song to be called song two. So right here, it shows you the preview of what the folder is gonna be titled. So now we hit create. We're on the song template and we hit create. And then I'm gonna browse to where I wanna create this folder tree, which is in my songs folder. So I hit okay and it's gonna automatically now create this song two folder over here. Now that it's created, we go in and we see all the folders, the subfolders, and even in the project file folder, it created the template for Studio One with the title of the song, which is song two. So now we can use post haste to just quickly create a folder tree, no matter how complex it is, even with project files of templates already loaded up, ready for us to get started. So to recap, if you change the file location of your session files by changing the file or folder location or changing the file or folder names, your DAW will not be able to load those files for that particular session. So as I discussed this week, start setting up a file location. Know where your files are. Set up a file location complete with a detailed folder tree you can use post haste, remember it is totally free, and save your work to an external. And don't forget to back up that external also. Okay guys, that was the fun fact for this Friday. Check out the other three videos from earlier this week dealing with file management. Thank you for checking out the video, and as always, you'll see me in the next video.